I want to show you here a sequence where the terms get smaller and smaller, but the sum to infinity doesn't exist. We've seen for a geometric progression that if the common ratio is between minus 1 and 1, that the terms decrease fast enough that uh, we do get a sum to infinity, but that's not necessarily the case for other types of sequences. This is a bit of logic here you've got to be really careful for when you go on to do more math. So here's my sequence, 1 over n, and it's n equals 1 to infinity I'm trying to evaluate. So, what, so let's just get, make sure we've got a sense of what this sequence, this series is. It's 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5, etc. Like this. So um, now, you know, I wouldn't blame you at all if you thought, well, surely these terms get smaller and smaller, you know, so surely this must come to some limit, but it's in fact not the case. And here's, here's my argument uh, against uh, this having a limit. So I'm going to try and group these terms uh, together. And first, let me write out a few more. So let's look at these. Now, I've got one and a half, a third, a quarter, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, and an eighth, etc. Okay, so what I'm going to say is that this sequence, this series, is bigger than the following sequence. I'm going to say, okay, let's have one over one, we'll keep that one as one, and then I'll have a half, and now I'm going to replace a third with a quarter. And all I'm saying here is not that these two things are equal, but that what I had to start off with is bigger than what I've now got, so I've thrown some stuff away. So if what I've got left is still too big to have a sum, then what I started with originally must be too big to have a sum. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing here. Um, I'm going to stop at an eighth as the next one. So I'm going to say I like a fifth, a sixth, and a seventh. They're all bigger than an eighth. So let me just throw away the difference, and I'll say plus an eighth, plus an eighth, plus an eighth, plus one eighth. Okay, and the next ones I'm going to say well similarly along here. I'm going to go up to one sixteenth. So I would have nine, ten, eleven all the way up to sixteen, and I'm going to say. Uh, you know, let's make those ones all into plus one sixteenths, and after that, one thirty seconds, one sixty fourth. So we're going to keep doing that. What we notice is that okay, I've got one, and then I've got a half, and now I've got a quarter plus a quarter, so that's a half, an eighth plus an eighth plus an eighth plus an eighth. I've got four of those. That's four eighths, so that would be a half. Now for the sixteenths, I would have eight of them, all the numbers from nine to sixteen. And 8 lots of 1 16th, again, would be 1 half. Then I'd have 16 lots of 1 32nd, so that would be another half. I would have 32 lots of 1 64th, that would be another half. And although it takes longer and longer to find enough fractions that go up to a half, if I keep going far enough, and remember I can go as far as I like because I'm going to infinity, um, I'll always get above the next, the next value. So actually this... Um, is equal to infinity. We've just got infinitely many halves here. So this sequence here is bigger than any finite number, so it can't be approaching a limit. It's very different to that sequence 1, 1 half, 1 quarter, 1 eighth, etc., where we said, okay, I start at 0 and then I get to 1, and then I do 1 and a half, then I do 1 and 3 quarters, then 1 and, you know, 7 eighths, and, I, and, and each time I'm just going half as far. Uh, as I was previously to 2, but never quite getting there, so the limit is 2. Here what I'm saying is, oh well, look, I get to 1, and then I get to then I get to 2 by here, and then I get to 3 by here, and 4 by here, and, you know, although it's very slow, eventually I do keep getting past any milestone I want to, so I can, uh, although I have to take lots of lots of values in this sequence, um, it doesn't converge to any, any finite limit. So it's a really interesting result here, and one that uh, you've really got to be wary of when you're summing series to not just say because these numbers get smaller and smaller just because just because this sequence here you know 1 over n yes this one 1 over n does tend to 0 as n tends to infinity the terms get smaller and smaller that doesn't mean that the sequence will um, have a finite the series will have a finite value